No more teams in Microsoft 365? This is something crazy happening. But don't worry, the changes in the licenses does not deleting the most popular application from Microsoft 365 suit. But prepare your wallets because prices for Microsoft 365, Office 365 subscriptions going up. In this video I will show you the latest changes announced since the 1st April 2024 for the subscriptions of Microsoft 365 and Office 365 plans and how bringing out from these plans teams to the separated license increasing total costs for some organizations. If you want to get to more information about Microsoft Copilot and how you can use it in the organization, check the course I'm showing on the screen. And as always, if you want to support this channel, leave the thumbs up, subscription or the comment below. It's happening. Microsoft Teams will be separated subscription plan for the all Microsoft 365 and Office 365 plans worldwide. Last year that kind of setup was implemented in the European Union and Switzerland which increased the cost for this region and since 1st April of 2024 Microsoft decided that very same setup will be implemented globally. So since this moment every organization that will create the new tenant and try to buy the new licenses will not be able to buy the plans that will include Microsoft Teams, but Microsoft Teams will be separated subscription that you need to buy. And in general, you can tell what's the difference. Yeah, the difference is because it increased the cost of your subscription. Can you imagine using Microsoft 365 without Microsoft Teams? Maybe from time to time you will find very unique, very specific scenarios for such a case. But in general, this is the most commonly used application being the part of the Microsoft 365. So let's switch to the announcement on Microsoft and let's check how it impacting the pricing of Microsoft 365. So as we already mentioned, this change applies since April 2024. So this is already happened and this will be applied only to the new customers with the new subscriptions. So if you are already owner of the Microsoft 365, you can choose if you prefer using Microsoft 365 with Teams included or you want to split the license and have the possibility to have the Teams as a separated subscription available for your organization. But this is not totally true. Unfortunately, if you will plan to switch your subscription for enterprise agreement to CSP or changing the partner that will provide you the CSP subscriptions, in the new offers you will get only the new model of the licensing. You will not be able to get the new proposal that will include the old plans where teams were included in Office 365 E1 or Microsoft 365 E5. So be aware of that. Unfortunately, this could hold you a little to the current setup that you have. So switching from CSP to enterprise agreement or back or switching between the CSP partners could be challenging because it will increase your costs. And what does it mean? You can see the new pricing and to give you the example, the previous price was $10 for Office 365 E1 and from perspective of Microsoft 365 E5, it was $57. So you can see the costs of the old subscription were reduced for $2.25, but at the same time, Microsoft Teams Enterprise, the new SKU, cost $5.25. It means that in general, if you will need to buy Office 365 E1 without Teams and additional Teams subscription, your costs will go up for $3. And in case of $10, this is 30%. In case of Microsoft 365 E5, which was where the price was $57, the increase of the cost is around 4 or 5%, but still, you can see the cheaper license you have, you will have the bigger cost assigned in the new setup. 
Same situation will apply to Microsoft 365 frontline plans. And in this case, the new subscriptions plans without Microsoft Teams are decreased for 50 cents, but at the same time, Microsoft Teams subscription costs $5.25. The only good thing is that in this scenario, old model will be also available for the new customers and during the change. So there is an option to buy frontline subscription that will include Microsoft Teams. So for some scenarios, you can reduce the cost for 50 cents if you will not use the Teams. But you can see if you want to mix that kind of model, it will not have sense at all from cost perspective. And this will work similar way to Microsoft business plans where the costs are decreased for $1.25 but at the same time both models with Teams and without Teams will coexist. So you can see for the smaller organizations or for the frontline workers there's no that big impact but if you are an enterprise organization using Office 365 ePlans or Microsoft 365 ePlans, this will for sure impact your costs if you will switch to the new model or you will be the new organization that will buy the new plans, new tenant, new subscription. So you can see pricing going up. On the one hand, we get much more flexibility in the area of using or not using team. This is good option for us, but at the same time, if you will be the new subscriber of Microsoft 365 services or you will need to switch the contract, then your costs will go up if you're using Office 365 or Microsoft 365 ePlans. Take that into consideration, prepare your budgets if such activities will be present for your organization and be aware that licensing of Microsoft 365 become more and more complex. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.